dear fellow. I'm sorry, Arthur. I didn't know where else to go. I don't know what to do, Arthur. Robert, last night you were telling me how much Gertrude means to you, hmm? How much you love her. More than anything in the world. But there is a wide gulf between us now, and I fear I shall never bridge it. I fear she will never forgive me. Surely there must be some sin in her past life. Any sin, weakness perhaps, that might, well, help her to understand yours. No, I don't believe Gertrude knows what weakness or temptation is. But she loves you, Robert. She cannot but forgive you. Now, I feel certain that if she could hear you now, the regret you feel about your past... Regret? Yes, regret. I feel certain that she would pity you. Perhaps even at this moment she is pitying you, praying that she might but once again be in your arms. God grant it, but I doubt it. There is something else I need to tell you about, Arthur. The debate on the Argentine Canal has to begin at 10.30. I have made up my mind what I'm going to say. I've, I've decided. What was that? Nothing. I heard a noise from next door. No, no, you didn't. Is there someone there? Arthur. Robert, you're excited, unnerved. There is no one in that room now. Sit down, old man, for God's sake. Do you give me your word of honor? Oh, yes. Let me look for myself. Oh, Robert. If there is no one there, then why shouldn't I? Robert. There is someone in that room. My dear fellow, I do apologize, but I must state she is entirely guiltless in this matter. She is scheming, devious, and deceitful. Are your pardon? It's you. You are false as a friend and treacherous. Robert. Good evening, Lord Goring. Sir Robert. So tell me, Goring, how the devil do you explain her presence here? <laughs> to, to be quite honest, I can't. I, I take it you two have been planning this for some time, then? Uh, Robert, believe me, we have not. We have never <laughs> planned anything. Except marriage, of course, Lord Goring. Come now, Arthur, you can't have forgotten. We were engaged for at least three weeks. <laughs> yes, but at this moment, I find it hard to see why on earth you broke it off. You seem to be entirely well suited to each other. Robert, I give you my word. No, sir. Oh, no, sir. You have lied enough upon your word of honor. I appear to have caused something of a commotion.